was on mute. <laughs> Hello, little sprouts. Um, let me see. I think I'm just going to not worry too much about the stream elements. Give me one second, actually. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm just going to, oh. Ay -ay -ay. Amateur. <laughs> okay. Um, Mikoto's left hand. When I saw that, I was like, somebody has to ask. <laughs> what happened to Mikoto's right hand? effect where it's like don't look at it and then as soon as someone says it it's like oh well now i have to look <laughs> makoto's right hand is guilty not the left one a little sus that's exactly what the right hand would want you to say okay oh, yay, yay. also is makoto your favorite also, hi, Vivi. <laughs> I know it's you, don't worry. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, right, we were attaching a bridge. Okay, and it said put it in there, which we did. Uh, E14, put it up there, and E22. I don't know if I've seen, well, no, I hate Mikoto. There isn't a lot of Mikoto widgets on my phone. <laughs> Mikoto's worst milk group character, totally not my favorite. Okay. It's okay, it's like how I go, Shido's not my favorite. I wouldn't give him one of my organs, no questions asked. Let me push this over. <laughs> I don't know. I see a lot of people. I think Mikoto gets away with a lot more because he's so easy to simp for. <laughs> he's hot. Um, she does drop dead handsome. I know, and he's a doctor, so he's smart. Handsome, smart, probably has money, but he also was married and had a loving family already, so. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, all of the guys, they're either baddies or daddies. <laughs> like, you can't go wrong with most of them. Shido, daddy. Kazui, daddy. <laughs> Futa, that's a baddie. He's not a daddy. 
Mikoto? Mm, probably a baddie. <laughs> Haruka? Oh. I can't see him under either of those categories. <laughs> Haruka's like a baby. Haruka. I don't know. I can't even think of another guy category. There's like himbos, which is definitely not Haruka. There's Haruka killed animals. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is about. It's not like baddie means you're a bad person. Baddie is like. Oh. Damn. So. Still wouldn't put Haruka in the kill in the baddie category. But uh that's true. I think I probably would have voted him guilty. He did have a lot of dead animals in his MV. Like how much can you let someone get away? Oh, like this. Like this. This one says on the painted side. So maybe this is the front? Shido is literally a daddy. <laughs> when I saw he had like a basically a full family, I was like, how old is this man? I thought he was like 20. That's on me for not reading <laughs> any of the extra materials. That's on me. I know when it's, I've made a mistake. I would do for Shido. <laughs> but I really felt like from trial two, did he even learn the right lessons? I feel like everybody went like, they took a little glance at the right lesson they could have learned and then did a U-turn away from it. Except for maybe Futa. Futa was like, Ugh. Oh, little staircase, look. <laughs> As soon as he's like, I'm indispensable, like, everybody needs me. Move and boozled us all. Yeah, I don't know how that they managed to do such a crazy 180. Unless they, it's like a... Because either they lied a ton in the first MV or they're lying a ton now. I don't know the rules well enough, like... I thought it was just songs sucked right out of their brain. How can they lie so much? Like this. Who's next? It's gotta be... Is Mikoto's song next? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> but we should have seen it coming. She's pretty. And the interrogation question said she came from a wealthy family. I mean, it's not like you're pretty and you have come from a wealthy family automatically means you bully people so bad that they die. <laughs> like, uh, I could see her being the victim in the first one. But that's, I guess, I didn't think about it too hard. And also I didn't know about the background stuff. Also in anime, like everybody's pretty, but maybe not in universe, I guess. <laughs> Haven't you ever watched like Shoujo and they're like, oh, that girl is so plain. And she literally has the same face as every single other character. <laughs> I put it like this. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, it's definitely like this. It's not, but there's hints to it. <laughs> Move may have bamboozled us all, bamboozled us all, but she did come out with the hits every single trial. <laughs> 
She has such good songs. Okay. Oh no, it says Bend the Wires. Okay. Um, every time the wires are involved, I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I think you gotta go like this. And then put it up like this. And then, oh no, it's gotta go all the way down. I just really hope this next, for trial three, the whole thing that's going on with Haruka and, and move, I hope that calms down. And then I need E43. I'm going to be guilty, trial three, two. I have a feeling her trial three art will be absolutely angry. We voted her guilty, but not sad, but I don't know. Hmm. She did give me some, like, energy of kind of insecure and wanting people to like her. Do you know what I mean? So, but then she got, like, way too overinflated after the first trial when everybody voted her innocent. So, I think if she got voted guilty, she'd be like, oh, my feelings are hurt. I can't believe people don't like me. Or something like that. But... She could go crazy too. I would be so down to see that. <laughs> e. 42. 43. Okay, so we're supposed to pin this wire down. Oh god, I'm so afraid. <laughs> Everybody's art so far has been like off the rails especially with um especially with Mahiru's she looks crazy and Mikoto looks crazy which I love <laughs> my brothers don't like how to cut at all even though I voted even though I voted guilt him guilty, I feel bad for him. Yeah, that's a thing, like, all of the voting and stuff we do, we're trying to do it in the interest, best interest of the characters, usually. But then, like, there's no way a guilty vote will give them a good outcome, so you still feel bad for doing it. Like, didn't they say, like, a guilty vote this round would mean, like, physical restraints like i don't want to see how to get tied up that's so sad i want to see what's her face um oh my god i literally i covered her song and everything the last girl <laughs> the i uh, kodoko there we go i want to see her restrained a little bit because she went a little bit too ham last time Hopefully, since he's guilty, I'm going to put a shame from hurting himself. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good idea. I'm wondering, like, if they get restrained, does that mean they also can't defend themselves, too? Because that's a little... Mm, I don't like that. But who's going to attack them? I feel like the big attackers are going to be Kotoko... Amane, if she gets innocent, which she probably will, and Mikoto? I don't think Futa's doing anything. <laughs> He's like depressed. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like Kotoko could go for anybody though. As long as they get a guilty vote, she's gonna be like, Get out the baseball bat. Ugh. I hope some more nuance comes out about her story because like this whole like vigilante thing, it feels a little too straightforward. So I want some more like depth to what she's doing before I can like sympathize with her a bit more. Here we go. Look at this. I'm gonna 
to vote her guilty for now until I see her song, but she's acting like a prison guard. <laughs> like, we are the warden, <laughs> not you. That's true. She's like, I got voted innocent, so therefore I can do whatever I want. Ugh. And all of my judgments are right. But then again, our, our judgments are right. Probably not. Not good. Very nice. Wait, I think I need to flatten this. I'm worried, I'm also worried like, I'm worried about anybody getting restrained because as soon as, if Kotoko gets restrained, what if somebody tries to take revenge against her or something? I thought this was a prison. Aren't people supposed to be locked up so they can't hurt each other? We need like a Milgram union or something. <laughs> uh, 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 E21, E5, E21. That's a good question, but who would do that? Who did she like maim <laughs> in the first round? Was it Futa? E5. Or was it Mahiru? Who hurt who again? Even though I love my baby. Uh, Mikoto, I think he's gonna get a guilty streak. Well, we don't... I think he looks pretty unhinged in the art so far that came out. So I'm excited to see if there's a little bit of nuance going on with his... Trial? Like, with his situation. So, I don't know. It could be a little bit more ambiguous than we think. It's always more interesting when the situation's, like, kind of ambiguous. We'll see. I'm hoping he'll be like sympathetic and a nice boy, <laughs> but that's just because I kind of like him. Um, E5. Did I already punch it out? Hmm. Gotoko attacked Futa and Hero. Yeah, like I could see Futa being like, the who's? <laughs> you know, like, um. But he's also depressed. Okay, so like this, and like this, and then this is like this. Oh, I need to stay on this. Oh my god, do you wanna hear something pretty stupid? You see this little line? I was cooking instant noodles, and I let my wrist touch the rim of the pot, and now that's just there. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully I can come up with a cooler story for the, for the scar. Eat more. Um, I don't, it's like a, like a, like, it just happened Tuesday, so it's fresh. I don't, I don't think it'll scar, <laughs> but I do have these. You can't really see them on the camera too well. Let me see if I can like, like that mark there and here. I got bit by a cat. <laughs> That's a scar. Ugh, I can't get this in. Do you have any scars? <laughs> I'm talking about physical ones, not emotional ones. Milgram has left me emotionally scarred. Okay. <sighs> Do you think I'm getting more muscles from doing this? I don't think so. <laughs> Like this. Here? Where's this going? Oh, here. Oh no, wait. Yeah, okay. I think Futa learned his lesson. Question <laughs> mark. My brother thinks Futa's acting like he's sorry now, and the next trial he'd be like, I'm innocent or something. 
but I think he genuinely wants forgiveness. I think he kind of opened his third eye. He was like, yeah. Oh, you know what? It's because his situation is so similar to what we're doing to him now, which is like online judging someone without really knowing them. And I, maybe I think that opened him up a little bit to realizing, oh, if what they're doing is kind of shoddy, maybe what I was doing was also shoddy. So I, I feel like he's learned his lesson, but he also got beat up and that, <laughs> that humbled him a little bit, but, oh shit. He totally did. He broke the fourth wall the most out of everyone. Like his song was all about that. Oh. Oh, now I got confused. I think it's like this. Yeah. The eyes were our eyes. Totally, 1000%. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like we answered the solution to cyberbullying was cyberbullying the cyberbully. <laughs> That'll teach him. I feel bad for him though. He's like, he seems like to be quite young and he's like, he, he thought he was doing something good in his eyes. Like he was being a hero or something. I have, I have hope for Futa. Did he get an innocent vote? Ah, uh, uh, we did it, I think. Ah, uh, we did it, oh. uh, I better be getting muscles after doing this. G12, E12, G12, E12. He did, I was sorry. I don't think he could handle two guilty votes in a row after he got that, after he got his ass whooped in the first trial. I think if someone gets guilty all three times, I don't know if they'll survive it, to be honest. Futa's our good boy, kind of. I don't know. I hope he doesn't get a big head over getting is it. He would break down and I don't want to see that for him. That's so, yeah. I like, as soon as I saw his sprite with the eye patch, I was like, oh, now I feel bad. Um... What am I looking for? G12? Oh. G12. 12. I know. All of the sprite <laughs> updates at first, I was like, ooh, looking good, you know? Like empower yourself yes and then like Futas came out and i was like uh oh and then my heroes came out and i was like uh oh <laughs> have you ever watched infinity train i'm starting to feel like it's kind of like infinity train Heroes was uh oh. It's so so good. If you like animated content that has like kind of a dark tone to it, Infinity Train was super super good. It's hard to find now though because it was like on HBO Max and then they did that thing with the cartoon purge and erased it off the streaming platform. So, but it does have like kind of this 
way of like i don't want to spoil too much if you're gonna watch it but it has like the same like mil grammy vibes to it in that like there's like judgment of people's character and like how good they're becoming versus like mm, have they improved enough to like be put back i don't know okay i don't want to i don't want to speak more on it <laughs> if you haven't seen it because it's really good i just went in blind and i was like so shocked by like how good every season was it definitely ended too early they were planning for like nine seasons or like eight seasons i think and then it got canceled after three four canceled after four this goes yeah like this it's perfect oh now it kind of stands up <laughs> <laughs> Looks so shoddy. <laughs> These hands should not make anything. Okay, now it says put the bridge like this. Like this. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, like this? Where does it go? Oh, there's holes in the water. really loves capybaras and I got her capybara earrings for her birthday and it's this Sunday capybaras are so cute they're so chill and I love that they like it feels fictional that the fact that they get along with every single animal <laughs> like how many animals do you know that could like chill with an alligator at the same time as like a puppy Everybody just likes them. I really like the pictures of them. Um, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Capybara. With oranges on their head. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Why? Why? <laughs> They're so chill. That's like the level of chill we should all aspire to be. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these in the slot. They look so cute! All they want is a little orange. You can't blame them for that. Is this supposed to go in somewhere? Maybe like this? Oh! I'm a genius. Oh no, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. fine i don't need to look oh it's so cute uh brb i'll work good luck with the book though thank you vivi good luck with being koto's left hand i guess <laughs>
Oh, it's his outside piece. Oh man, I don't like that. Dropping things on the ground everywhere. H one. Uh oh. Oh, I think we're getting close. Let me see. Should I glue this? Oh God. <laughs> Cute. Let's see if I can glue that. the slowest way to doing things. Ah, where did I put the sandpaper? Oops, oops, oops. 
Oh my god, you are so cute. Is that a capybara instead of the tutorial? <laughs> Every day I stray a little bit further and further away from God. <laughs> Hi, Shezo. <laughs> to be fair, I originally had a tutorial up there. Every time I get distracted and have to look something up, something else, something, something else goes there. Wait a second, where is this going? Note the direction of pattern. What? what do you- do you not like capybaras? They get along with everybody. Oh, there's even like a little outline. Okay. I got this. I got this. <laughs> you thought you could best me? Do you want more capybaras? I'm 40 minutes in? Are you for real? No, I'm not. What? I think I just... Ooh, when did I start? Oh my god, maybe I am 40 minutes in. Um, I built this little bridge and I attached it and I... <laughs> and I strapped down the wires. That scared me a lot. And now we're doing this. I think this is one of the walls. So it'll be like standing straight up. That's all I did on the wall. <laughs> I'm not 40 minutes in. I'm probably 40 minutes in. Oh God, why do I work so slow? Today I was like, that's it. This is the last one for sure. Okay, maybe this is not the last one. When lonely goes. It looks really cute so far, thank you. You don't know how much, how many tears have gone into this so far. It was not a meditative process. Bro just slipped into a fabric in space and, lo and lost all sense of time. I was chatting about Milgram and I think time just goes by faster. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, Lonely Ghost, did you see? Look, it's a little train and it has a little, a little tree. I was like really 
worried. Like, this train is falling off already. I can- Oh, there it goes. <laughs> ah, God. Now I gotta fix the train. Maybe I should glue the train in. <laughs> All of the little people. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, it's, uh... I'll figure it out later. Not important. Right now, we're making little signs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it too. My books are gonna be so cute beside this book nook. Um, D, C, 20, and an E, 14. Oh god. Definitely this. C14. Oh! Really? Uh oh. Oh, C20. I was like, there's no C20. I already punched it out. C20. Oh, C20 is just a flower. I'm so tired. Uh, tomorrow I have to wake up early. Uh, it's fine. Okay. And then this goes here, like this. Oh, look at me, so cute. Right? Yeah. Before I start jamming it into this. There we go. D23, D19. D23, D9. D23. D9. Capybara. 
Come here, bud. I got you, bud. Uh. Okay. D9 has to go like this. And D23 will go like this. <laughs> okay, let's go. Should I ask a question? Are you a cat person or are you a dog person? Oh wait, I didn't sign it. I have to quickly sign it. There's no wrong answers, but also if you say, oh, there's way too much glue. <laughs> ah, my curse. Cat, easy, dog. <laughs> Interesting. I was gonna say, there's no wrong answers except if you say you're not a cat person. I love cats. There used to be a little cat cafe. It was perfect, because I could just go cuddle with no, no responsibility. And they had this little white cat called Ice Cream, and he had these big, sad, downturned eyes. It was so cute. They scratch me. But dogs lick you. I don't like that. <laughs> you just haven't... You need to meet the right cat. Not all cats will scratch you. But dogs are... Like, I'm kind of both. I like both. I don't know how to not use too much glue. There we go. Look at this. Do you guys have pets already? I want a cat. Oh, now I need the AC unit. Look at this. Like this. <gasps> Look! Oh, it's like a little air conditioner. <laughs> Do I glue? Yeah. Ginger! So tired! It's early there. I once took care of a stray kitten colony even though morally it's wrong because stray cats are a problem <laughs> maybe but dogs are more playful that's true that's true did you know hang on i don't know if you could see it in the camera not really this right here and this right here these are two cat bites because i was trying to basically get a there's this stray cat that was in my neighborhood and I knew winter was coming soon, and I'm like, oh, it's not gonna survive winter. So I was trying to like get, use a live trap to get it to a shelter before winter came, and it bit me, and I went to the hospital. <laughs> but we got it to the shelter too, so it was a happy ending for the cat. Are you getting ready for the day, Ginger? Yesterday, Jaja was here. We were talking about you. Only mean things. Okay, uh, like this. Um, it's not really staying. I think I need more glue. Okay, whatever. Oh, that looks really crooked on the camera. Like that? I also have a tiny cat bite scar on my hand. When I tried to pet a cat, I thought it was friendly and low-key my hand felt a bit paralyzed. Dude. For real, though. Cat bites? 
They're vicious. Just five more minutes. Go back to bed. I saw you're putting out a new album. Very exciting. Technically, I'm on that album for like two seconds. <laughs> still counts, still counts. What did you talk about? I guess you won't know because you weren't at the stream. We were like sharing secrets about you. Um, okay, there we go. And we need this. Uh oh. Here. Or is it worse if we were like Jinja Yagi? Who? <laughs> Who dat? Okay, like this. Oh, maybe like this. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Oh, I'm so stupid. Literally, there's a perfect outline for it right here. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I guess Jinja is technically not a cat or a dog person. They're a goat person. Bing. Cute. I think we're getting close to the end if I'm building the walls. Is this supposed to be like... Hard to say. I think it's fine. Hmm. I completely forgot a stranger's gonna visit my house to buy something. And I have bad head from a huge nap. Well, if they're a stranger, they're not gonna see you again. You should just completely lean into it. Make up like a whole different backstory. Change your name. Fake an accent. <gasps> B9. And B, 10, 11, 10, 11. Okay, this is B. My hair frizzes up like an evil scientist. Do you have curly hair? Curly hair can be so much to manage. My hair is the exact opposite. It will stay in one shape the entire day. No questions asked. B9. B10. And B11. Oh god, I'm gonna get these mixed up 1000%. Okay. Straight Asian hair? And it frizzes up? I have straight Asian hair. You know what the answer is? Actually, I don't know what the answer is. B11. Conditioner? Maybe it's just too dry or like the humidity is off. We'll rest a little longer. Goodbye, bye, bye, Kingsley. Enjoy the building. Okay, Jinja. Okay, Jinja's gone. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about him. Um. <laughs> I thought you were gone. <laughs> Okay, we can't talk about it yet. Wait, just, get, just wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me see. B eleven. 
I basically cut my hair bald for high school graduation. And as I'm growing it out, it's at the point where my hair is ugly no matter how I style it. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. You gotta find, we just gotta find what will work for you. I had so many. I do this thing where like, if I'm not feeling good, my first answer to it, instead of directly addressing the problem, is to go do some drastic hair change. <laughs> so I've had so many bad hair choices, like you wouldn't believe. On my birthday, I was walking in the mall looking like a homeless person. No, that's not true. Positive affirmations, remember? Or, I have the perfect solution. Just gaslight yourself. <laughs> Just gaslight yourself into saying you have a full, luscious head of hair and tell it's true. Wait, am I doing this right? I want to say yes, but I'm not 100% sure. Whoa, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Uh-oh. B10, B11. B10. What? What length is your hair right now? I bet you we can, be, we can figure it out. Let's get you a K-pop, a K-pop haircut. Uh. Sometimes there is just that phase where it's like at a weird length. I like pixie cut my hair once, I like chopped it all off. And then when it was growing back, literally awful every step of the way until I became back to my usual length again. Okay, I need another 11. How am I supposed to know my hair? Like, like, where does it go down to? Like, to your, to your top of the top of your ear? To, is it over your eyebrows? Is it before your eyebrows? Is it like a buzz cut? Oh, whoa! I'm ripping off a ton of pieces here. Nope. I was like, at least it's hanging on by a thread. No, it's not. Or, shave it bald again. <laughs> when in doubt, buy hair. Have, oh, I was gonna play a song, but now I'm afraid it'll get struck. There's a really, really cute song by Owl City, and it's just all hair puns. Toupee. Yeah. Let me just, let me just, I'll hum it really bad. To pay or not to pay, that is the question. <laughs> By the way, I just gotta say, thank the Lord I'm not going bald. And if I may quip, my girls and I are just like heaven. Cause rest assured, there'll be no parting there. <laughs> and should my head get bare like Friar Tuck or Chase the Swallow? Um, uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Yeah, if I had more wigs than I knew what to do with, I'd open up a second-hand store. And if you ever something walk by, you'd recall it, cause I'd cleverly call it rugs from me to you. Um... I was thinking about shaving it bald again, although all throughout K to 12, I've always been known to have emo hair. <laughs> Just do what I do, one crazy hair move at a time. Have you tried dyeing it a fluorescent color? 
<laughs> Impromptu singing commences. You don't like the hair puns? Okay, well, just for that, I'm gonna look up the lyrics and I'll give you more hair puns. <laughs> give me this like here. It's called Rugs From Me To You. It's from Owl City. Oh, why is this so huge? Um, I don't know where I got to. I think I almost got to the end. Oh, I literally got to the end. I did all of the hair puns. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, it's hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fine, I won't do the hair puns. This is cyberbullying. Um, okay, and then I think I gotta put it up like this. Oh, this is like the underside of a roof. Isn't that so cute? Okay, and then we are going to glue it here. <laughs> I can't believe you don't like hair puns. I guess you could say they could hairily stand it. Like, barely. But hair. <laughs> I think you should, hmm. Should you take hair advice from me at all, though? Me, a VTuber? For all you know, I could also be bald right now. Just do what feels good for, for you. But if it's like you want long hair and you're just too impatient for it to grow back out, then don't shave it again. But if you actually liked how it looked shaved, then shave it again. I recently cut my hair short. I look like Mahiru. Not gonna lie. Mahiru has like shoulder length hair. That's like, that's like long. Uh, look, it's a little roof. Oh yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> because I have that power. I just put her hair, I just let her hair down. It was my chill, um, my chill, no screaming stream. Therefore, hair is down. But hair is up this time, so I'm allowed to scream. Okay, I think I gotta put the shingles on this roof. Beep, 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 beep. Mihiru? Mihiru does have good hair though. If I had to pick hair from any of them, it'd be Mihiru. No has the worst hair? Amane. That is the by far. Okay, these are all the shingles. Look, look how cute they are. Allowed to scream. No screaming, I promise. Okay, hang on. Let me put on. I have another asset that I haven't used for a little while. I wonder if I can find it. Um, I don't know how to work anything. You could probably see me try to stick it on my face right now. Okay, wait. Oh, there it is. Is that too small? <laughs> wait. Oh, I mean, it disappeared. I feel like, oh, there it is. Maybe like this. Now it just looks too big, whatever. Now I can see. Allowed to scream, don't <laughs> It is, look. Hi, BB, look. And then we're just about to stick the shingles on. It's I3. Um, I literally cannot read this at all. Oh, it's on the back. Ew, that sounds so weird. <laughs> okay. And then the shingles are going like this. It's <gasps> so funny. Now these glasses are getting crazy. If I turn my head, look. These gotta go. <laughs> hmm.
How's homework? Oh no, it fell out. I don't know what I'm doing. Should I glue this? <laughs> oh, it does say glue it. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Do your best. Kambate. I feel like I can't speak better than, than that at least. That That is my ninja way. Date bayo. I promise I'm like purposely anglicizing it up. I could I could do it if I need to, okay? Sasuke? <laughs> do I laugh at my own jokes too much? But if I Oh! I think I think it's okay. Oh, did you hear that snap? Date <laughs> by Sasuke? Okay, let's just glue this. Bing, 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 bing. Wait. One lonely ghost. Are you lonely? I hope not. Do you know Casper? Yeah, look at that glue. I only use a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, in this essay, I will say why Amane has the worst hair by far out of all of the Milgram characters. Because her bangs are so high up her face that like, <laughs> it like amplifies the size of her forehead by times 10. And even though she's a child, I will cyberbully her for it. Uh, let's see. 19, C20. That's right. What did I learn? It's okay to cyberbully children. C20. Wait, Vivi, I don't know if you're still there, but how did the audition go? Shezo says, someone said Shido had a British man haircut and I've never seen him the same since. Shido is hot. Someone had to say it. He's fine. And it doesn't matter what kind of hair he has. He could have Amane's hairstyle and I think he could make it work. Okay, let's glue these flowers on. Oh god, he does! <laughs> See, now you've transformed another another person's view. They'll never be able to go back. Poor ghost. <laughs> he could have a lot of his hair, it's not like he could make her work. Me when I lie. <laughs> He could have Amani's hairstyle and he could make it work. He could not make it work. That's the Arrested Development narrator voice. Which is perfect, by the way. It was not perfect. Hi, Pyro. Licka. I'm be begging Milgram, please, I need a half ease cover. Did it hit the 1 million mark yet? I feel like um, half is really, really slept on because it's like the one ballad in the first trial. So it will take a little while. But Cat, Cat was just perfect. They really hit their, like, finally Kazooie is being used to his maximum potential. Oh, where did I put my phone? Mm. 
Half has 1.5 million views? <gasps> wow. That's... That's discrimination. Why didn't they give Ease a cover for it yet? Maybe it's because, like, it had to hit a million before Trial 2 came out? That doesn't make sense, though. I was cooking and eating and doing dishes. I didn't know. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Actually, because you weren't here, I was so much more productive. Look at this. There's a little bridge now, and we got flowers on there. And the wall here. We finally put our AC unit in. Oh, it's gonna be so cute! Cat might be my favorite Milgram song right now. It's so good. When it came out, my voice is trembling. When it came out and I saw Kazooie with that dove, oh my god. And he like... <laughs> so good. That picture lives in my mind completely rent free that's like i don't know if you guys are here earlier for this but i said all of the boys in milgram are either baddies or daddies <laughs> and because there's a daddy sorry someone had to say it that's how it is um d 32 what is this what am i looking at <laughs> the Bro, don't say that. I'm helping. Yeah, you're helping cyber bully me. Sometimes. You're helping. You're helping. Also, ew. <laughs> we already went over this. Shiro, daddy. Kazui, daddy. The rest of them, baddies, and then Haruka is like out in the corner. I want to say you're wrong, but you're absolutely correct. I'm just saying the quiet part out loud, okay? Um, D6. Is this D6? Okay. I want to cover Bring It On so bad that I can't decide if I should raise or lower the se by semitone. Um, well, first of all, do it. Just do the cover. But for figuring out the key, maybe just do like a dry run through like transpose it see where you're com and like do a couple dry runs with the different keys and see which one you're most comfortable with i'm always like oh i should challenge myself and try to do it in the original key even when it's not there when, when i'm not there that is not the right choice <laughs> every singer has their own range and just find what works best for you but i think you should do it D6. Okay, so this is all the... This is all the D ones. Okay. <laughs> D... Okay, D6, D32. What am I doing? Uh, I'm so lost right now. Uh... This is D6. Okay. D32. The vocal technique for the original is insane. Like those growls and the singing is so high. It's impress so impressive. I'm in love. Like 1000%. I could not. Like my voice is like pretty soft. And I never do like music that rock. <laughs> Like, that genre, like, the growls are so tough if you don't know how to do them. And I definitely didn't get there when I listened back to it. But there's some YouTube videos that give you, like, some tricks for it. But I would definitely... You could hurt yourself really badly if you try to go for the growls without knowing any foundational stuff for it. <laughs> Which is what I did. I definitely hurt myself after recording for Bring It On. So yeah, I would say go for it because it's cool and amazing and I love growls and I'm in, but also like if you go for it, you have to go for it the right way. Uh, D32, D32, 33. 
32. Okay. So then what's this? Hurt yourself with what? I don't know how I learned how to growl, but I can do it extensively without hurting my throat. And that's a win in my book. See, you, then you're ready. What's holding you back? You gotta do it. Hurt yourself with what? When you're doing growls, it really requires like your vocal cords kind of like gritting against each other and also against your throat. And if you're just kind of like pushing for it without warming up and knowing what you're doing, it will definitely hurt your throat and like your, <laughs> like I had like almost laryngitis after trying to record Bring It On. Um, D12? Also, nails still look good. Nobody said anything, so <laughs> I'm saying it now. Also, hi, Grey Graves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't say hi. <laughs> Mixing growls is so hard though. It doesn't sound full whenever I try to record it. Hmm. Like, when you record the growl it's not sounding right in the recording or like after you're doing like the post-processing it doesn't sound right okay so d6 like this and then take these things like this Oh, I have a commissioned art piece for Kalista. And it's looking so good. I cannot wait to show everybody. Like something is just missing from the growls that I can't put my finger on. But only on Bring It On for some reason. Hmm. I don't know if I have any advice for you. I would just make sure a, you're not blowing out the mic when you do the growls because I definitely had that problem a few times. B, maybe you could do some post-processing things to try to make the growls come out a little clearer, like using EQ to bring up the mid-tones for it or something. Mm. Or maybe just like adding a ton of like, <laughs> adding a ton of reverb on it too to like just make it sound full. But I don't know. I don't know if I have very good advice for doing growls because I've done them like twice and both of them were <laughs> not good. Uh, let me see. Okay, so now I have this little shelf. What does this shelf do though? It says just put the shelf to the side, I guess. Okay. D18, D5, D18. D18? D18? Find an angry dog and record it. There you go. Another way to get a growl. But you weren't here earlier. Shazo said they're a cat person, so. Um, D5. Oh, here. I think we're getting close. Look, there's so many missing parts now. Or. Do I just get another manicure? <laughs> me. Yeah, I never get my nails done. Also me. Do a foot stream. Turns out Futo is actually a dog. Or is he a dog? Um, dogs are all right, I guess. I just don't like it when they lick me because I'm not, I don't like it when they lick me either. I think it's gross. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to take this and do this. Futa. Wow. I don't know how that fits, but that definitely fits. He is like Chihuahua energy. It's just like the very like 
I'm so tough. And then you look at him and he's like, yeah, that, that punk got beat up. Ah! I heard a snap. Okay, this is, look how misaligned that is. Do you ever, <laughs> I don't know if this is just a me thing or if it's universal, but whenever I do like a despair, like, ah, wah, like I always add, wah, Luigi at the end. <laughs> you gotta have that dog in when you record. I don't understand what that means and I'm not gonna comment on it. Uh, hey, hey, look at this. Still don't know what it is though. D5, this, and then D18, like. Oh, whoa, this one's busted up. Oh, no, it's not. It's just splintered. I don't think I've ever made that despair sound. You will. Believe me. I don't go, I don't go more than a week without a despair sound. I'm just gonna say it's universal. Wah. <laughs> I was like, oh, should I do that you VTuber self introduction? And but then there's this one gap that's asking you for <laughs> like a voice impression. That should be what it is. Should be my spot on Waluigi. Despair sound. It's like when you're like ah, <laughs> or like you know. For me, it's like, wah. Okay, I think I got it. Ta da! Ja -jang. <laughs> A body has been discovered, was what I thought. Um, if that's your despair, I will take that away from you. <laughs> Okay, so I have this little shelf, and now I need E34. What's E? My despair sound is me crying. Bro, please! That's also so real. I respect that. E, what did I just say? E34. Oh, I have a good story about despair. Hang on, let me get this piece. E34. So, when I was working in the lab, um, I was doing this experiment where like basically from beginning to end uh oh okay never mind sorry um so from beginning to end of that experiment it was basically a full week of wor worth of work and then by the end of it you would get like two millimeters of sample that i needed to analyze for the experiment and by the time i had concentrated it down to those two millimeter milliliters i was like looking at it and you know you have like the little container open and you have like the little syringe taking the liquid out and i was like wow you know this sample so much work went into it and the fact that there's so little after all of this time it's like liquid gold and then right as i said that i dropped it on the ground a full week of worth a full week's worth of work oh my god the despair i had in that one moment uh even just retelling the story <laughs> i feel it in my bones Oh my god, that's fine. Don't worry. I 
I would be lying if I told you that there wasn't tears in that moment, but there were a little bit of tears. And then I threw it on the ground. You don't own me, hot dog man. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> you spoke about that like it was Mufasa to Simba. Everything the light touches will be yours someday. <laughs> Every time I look in the sky at nighttime and there's like a little like tuft of clouds, I always think, Simba, <laughs> remember. Uh, there we go. Look, uh, what is this? I don't know. Okay, and a D31. This is so productive today. Do you guys remember when we had that two hour stream and I did one step in the instruction? Look how far we come. Who'd have thought? Not me. <laughs> I have another good story. <laughs> when I was working in the lab, I had this one lab partner that like, she didn't try at all. She was like not paying attention ever. And the labs were really high intensity. So like, you really needed to be on the ball. Like we only had so much booked time in the lab. If you weren't splitting up the work, then there's not enough time to get everything done. And then it got to the point where she was just making so many mistakes because she didn't know how to do anything. She wasn't paying attention where I was kind of like trying to give her the easy tasks so I could handle the more complicated ones. So then I was like, we had like these little live organisms, like a little crayfish that we were measuring. And I was like, why don't you just go weigh the crayfish, okay? All you have to do is weigh them. You put them on a scale. <laughs> I love distracting Kingsley in the first 40 minutes with Animal Crossing and Milgram. So true. Literally, Shizu got on and then he just saw the tutorial was completely gone in the corner and it's just pictures of capybaras. <laughs> Should we bring my man Lyman back up? I don't know. I feel like the capybara energy is really soothing me. I'm going to leave it. Um, so I was like, please weigh them. Just all you have to do is weigh them. And then she still went, how do I weigh them? And I was like, okay, here's what you got to do. We have a contain, like a little clear container. Go weigh the container, then come back. Put the crayfish in the container, go weigh it again. And then you can take the total weight and subtract the weight of the container. Like that's pretty intuitive to me and hopefully most people. But then we did the whole experiment three hours later. And when I was trying to run the calculations, you need the weight to like kind of like figure out the metabolism and stuff like that and then when i looked at the weight i was like oh my god why does it say these crayfish lay weigh like half a gram that's impossible and then i looked at her and i was like do you still have the calculations from how you weighed these crayfish she's like no i threw them out and i'm like what is this she's like oh i guess that's the weight of the container and I'm like, oh my god! Anyway, and then we had, I had to go to the teacher and basically beg them to give us another lab session because all of our data was essentially garbage without knowing how much these animals weighed. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, I don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> That's true. You'll have to find something that will distract me again, like Milgram and Animal Crossing does. If you want to impede this progress. But, I'm killing it today. Okay, this says... D20.
No! This- Oh, sorry. Pyro said, was this first year? How did this person last? This person was- This was fourth year. An advanced lab for biology in fourth year. And this person was in one of the specialized tracks for biotech. So it's way tougher than just doing like a regular biology degree. And I was like, <sighs> yo, I almost, I would have been in Milgram if I got went further that day. <laughs> um, like this? What am I doing? I think it's like this. Should I sand it? I swear there's someone like that in every group project. It's so true. There's like, here. here's the distribution. If you have a group of five, there's going to be one leader, workhorse, organizes the whole thing, does 80% of the work. Then there's going to be two like uh i don't know what to call them we'll call them like co worker ants because they'll like do it as long as they're like given direction and it'll be fine and then there's like two leeches <laughs> where it's like bare minimum or worse they like hand in such a trashy part that everybody else has to like edit and basically redo it for them and that's just the ecosystem that kids is biology bro what the fuck is my degree even worth bro well if it's in biotech apparently it's a worth a lot Bing. what is this and then we got to take this shelf that we made and it goes like this okay i still don't know what i'm building maybe like buildings what is this Oh god, you just described my junior cav lab group. That, I'm telling you, after years of research, this was what my whole thesis was on. No, I'm kidding. This is what my whole... Uh... Okay. And then you think, oh, at least when we get to next year, people will know what they're doing more. Nope, it's exactly the same. Because... The ecosystem has allowed the leeches who don't know what's going on to thrive. <laughs> Had a group project where the leech not only didn't do much, but also harmed the morale of the rest of the group the day of the demo. Oh my god. Uh, bleh. I'm telling you, you will never escape that ecosystem. It's just a constant, it's like a fundamental rule of being. I guess technically, if you're just in self-interest, it's most optimal to be a leech. There we go. Ta-da. Oh my god, I'm on a roll today. Who is this girl? Why did it harm the day the morale of the group? Did like the demo go wrong because of the actions of the leech? I need D24. <laughs> Hi R! Hi kazoo guy! Oh boy. Looking back on it, I was the leech sometimes, but that's because I hate work. Honestly, fair. I think we've all had our shakes as the, as the leech. One of my leech lab partners failed the test and she didn't even get caught cheating with her phone. Yo, when you're cheating with your phone and you still fail, that's a whole new level of leech. It says, apply glue on the shaded area. Align and apply glue. Okay. 
Just stick it on like this. Oh, too much glue once again. Before when I started, when we just started, my morale was so high, I was like wiping off all the excess glue with a little tissue. Now I'm just like, oh, too much glue. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Me and the leader were working on a cable manager on cable management on the project. We didn't care too much about looks, we just wanted it to work. This is zip tie and duct tape type B. Oh, we got doors. Nope, there's a distinction between A and B doors. Okay. Then put it in like this. The day of the demo. The robot didn't work, why? Don't tell me it was because of the leash. It did nothing we wanted it to. I can't figure this out. Okay, please don't break. I just need you to... Oh! Stop, please. Oh no, please. Oh God. Me on the day of the, the, day of the demo. Oh wait, I'm on top chat again. Hee hee hee. Oh God, just, oh God, hold it together, people. Let me, positive affirmations. Well, how come the robot didn't work? If it's like the leech goes, oh yeah, I was fiddling with it yesterday. It stopped working, didn't tell anybody. Oh, I can't get this to go, oh no. Ugh. Me, the programmer, and the leader pulled an all-nighter the day before trying to do some last-minute troubleshooting and programming. At this point, we three were almost delirious. <laughs> Sounds like a hackathon. The leech wasn't even there? Oh, they could at least be there for morale. Gaslight that piece. I did. It's back. And now we're gonna put the door in like nothing happened. Look! Oh wait, it looks so crooked on camera. Like this, maybe? <laughs> no moral support, nothing. Boom <laughs> pulls up. this had the gall to say um the wiring could be better <laughs> did you D trial one july waters the wiring could be better for milgram look <laughs> so cute okay should i put the other doors on the other door gotta go like this. Did you k destroy them? Is there a way to like report your group members? Because in the end, I like our lab had a function at the end where you could review each other. And 
my friend, not even my friend, it was her roommate, the leech's roommate, and I, we were like, we are going to write her the worst review on God's earth. But even if you give them bad reviews, it only takes off like 10 points, like five points from their thing, so. Half of us would be in Milgram if it wasn't for self-restraint. That's so true. We were raised, we, we know how to, we know how to act in polite society. That's the thing. He was right, but not what we needed to hear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that's not constructive at all. Uh, when the work we put in all semester was falling apart. What is... Should I swear? I don't think it really matters. What a dick. Uh-oh. Somebody just snapped out of place. Uh-oh! <sighs> Stop falling out of place! Hold it together, people. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> it could have been better if you helped. Yeah, did somebody say something to him? I hope so. If you swear, what will happen to your brand? That's true. Kalista Kingsley. Lily, the, the lily pad pond has to be wholesome or say so only in this in this pond. Ah, the whole thing came off. What if I just put the doors on now and then put the top on? There's probably a reason why they want you to put the back on first though. Hi, Keenan. I'll be with you at 8.30. But thanks for tuning in. Do you want to see a tour of the book nook? <laughs> the leader told him calmly as possible, would you like to have done the wiring? He said no and shut up for the rest of the demo. Swearing in the Christian Minecraft server. Honestly, that sounds really fun though. Like, if you could log into a Christian Minecraft server. You just swear and then pop out of there. Or, like, use the Lord's name in vain. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta stay on brand. Anyways, I wonder who swore multiple times last stream. It's a mystery. I think that was the Arrested Development narrator. Not me. It was her. Ugh. Okay, I think it's back in place. Let's put these... I almost swore again. I was gonna say, let's put these doors on. Um, okay, so I think this has got to go like this. Um, and this one is gonna go like this. I dropped an F bomb in a recorded work meeting today. No, Keenan. I literally was just thinking, like, I heard my boss swear a couple times, and I was like, whoa, that's like an otherworldly experience. I have a really bad rap cover idea, but I need someone AI, A, kind of know well, and B, is prefer preferably female. Kingsley, I do not expect you to hear me out. Well, 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 well pitch it first. Um, you were going to say, what again? I can hear. I was going to say, let's get this beep door on. Look! This looks so shoddy. Hey, God, wait, wait. It's this door. It's this middle one that's like... Look! It's kind of cute. I don't know why this one looks so crooked. Oh, this looks good. Look! 
Okay, I'm bad. Oh, I'm fading. Okay, it's still 20 minutes. 20 minutes, we can do this. 20 minutes? E38. This is not E. We Cry Together by Kendrick Lamar as art hits different. I'll give it, or like send it to me on um, Discord. I'll listen to it after. Cause again, I'm afraid of getting copyright claims. You missed, <laughs> some people heard it earlier, but I was like, oh, there's this one song that has so many hair puns in it. And I just paused the music and I sang the whole thing from memory acapella, it was bad. Uh... And they said, no, please stop. And I said, too bad. Um, E38. Uh -huh. And then B. B25. But if you don't suspend your disbelief, it is incredibly out of pocket. I don't know yet. Those hair buns are gonna haunt me. That's so. <laughs> Those are good hair buns. I guess you could say they. Uh, I'm trying to think of a hair bun off the top of my head. They put you in it. Harry situation. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Stop looking at the clock. Just build. I gotta end at 8 30 today. I need B25 times 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're dead to me. <laughs> You'll be back. Tomorrow, you'll be like, <laughs> someone will come up to you and then you'll respond back with a hair pun unironically. And it'll be too late for you. You'll be like, oh no. Is this who I am now? And the answer is yeah. Uh, like this. Like this. I think it's like this. Okay, we gotta put five of these in here oh wait this should be like this this should be like this that is the day i perish <laughs> i'm telling you if you just if you're like me and you make a lot of puns your friends just absorb it whether they want to or not <laughs> I have one friend who isn't Asian, and I say aya a lot because I'm Asian. And they say aya all the time now, too. It's like. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Damn. I have one friend. <laughs> I don't use Aya a lot. It's a good... Remember, we were just talking about sounds of despair? Aya is like, sound of... Uh, hmm, it's pretty diverse. Aya is good! Thank you, Keenan. Mikoto's left hand. <laughs> And I do say, oh no, in my native language a lot. Teach me. But you, like, write it how it's supposed to be spelled, but then also please write it phonetically. <laughs> and don't take this opportunity to trick me. Actually, you know what? Now I'm not going to read it at all. I don't trust any of you. I don't trust any of you anymore. I'm just going to say more hair puns. There we go. 
I think that's the bottom of the roof. And then it goes up here like this. Oh, <laughs> look at it. Cover Deagle 27, DSFC, what? DSCF1 is the part where it goes, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like this? I think so. La mano. You're just saying Mikocho's left hand again in a different language. Viet is tonal. I think I'm getting more muscular from doing this. Me. She was not getting more muscular. We better bring up my man Lyman, speaking of muscular. Una Persona que... Okay, uh... Oh no! This is falling apart! Okay, A15, we can still do this. All I want is to get the roof and the shingles on. If I can do that... I will be satiated. Hola. Can you speak Spanish fluently? The door keeps falling off. I'm gonna have to glue it, I think. Ah! It looks cute. I'm gonna glue this door on though. Maybe it's like me. You know how like Canadians to French is kind of like United States to Spanish. I feel like it's like that. <laughs> One last push. Yes, we can. We should just do Snoop Dogg's positive aff affirmations. I'm gonna have a great day today. completely detached <laughs> we're so close though oh yeah <laughs> wow luigi and there's a meme i'm thinking about whenever kingsley does the narrator voice but i can't explain it because she's like a boomer when it comes to memes <laughs> i'm not a boomer explain to grandma <laughs> despair noises <laughs> Oh my god, it's all coming apart! Uh, save me! Aya! <laughs> okay, I don't know. This just fell apart in like five different places. <laughs> okay. Aya! Okay. I can still do this. Gaslight! Gaslight, gaslight, I could do it. It's supposed to lock into place, but like, I'm starting to think I might need to glue. <sighs> okay. Then, I'll do this. This is gonna be the most, if I move, there's no way this book nook is coming with me. It's the most fragile item in existence. Oh no, why did I lock that in? Now this one's supposed to go in like sideways? That's not happening. I'm gonna have to pull it back out. 
Hiya. Gaslight, gaslight, gaslight. Today's gonna be a great day today. I'm not stressed and I didn't scream. No tears are coming out of these eyes. Para mi. Ayos mio. say it nicely Please. ah did you see that i said what if i say it nicely and then it went bah! see being nice is the answer and it's on brand It really did. The timing of that could not have been better. Okay. Let's glue this thing on really quickly. Shingles, shingles, shingles. Okay. Oh, the next step isn't gluing on the shingles. I'll do it. I'll do it anyways. I4. Because I want to see them. Look! Oh, maybe I shouldn't because I need to stick it onto the side. And then that will be kind of stressful. Ay, yay, yay. Uh-oh. I think I might have played myself. I put the flowers too close to the thing that's supposed to, like, stick into the wall. Oh. I can't believe I've streamed like four times and I've already been called a boomer. Look! <laughs> And then it says, apply glue on the shaded area. Okay. Oh, and it's gonna go like this. Woo! Okay. Okay. And here's me only using a little bit of glue. I'm my name Amose. Hello! This will be the beginning of a new era. It's all coming together, baby! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's all coming together! I cannot believe the timing of that. <laughs> Life's so rude to me. Maybe we gotta do what we learned last time, which is if you talk to the pieces very nicely, they'll listen to you. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Perfect. Wow. Okay. The Milgram crew is coming together. True, we have a Mikoto, we have an Amane. Um, and let's just stick the roof on really quick and then we'll call it, call it a day. Ah, the little shingles! Okay. It says, apply glue. So like this. So like this, huh? You want glue? Uh-oh, I think I'm actually running out of glue because I'm not very uh, conservative with it. Oh, oops. What is Milgram? Wait, is this genuine? In this essay, I will explain what Milgram 
Well, Milgram is just um, an interactive online anime series, musical anime series, where people watch characters try to explain their crime and then vote for them if they're guilty or innocent. Look! Ah! <laughs> it looks so good! We did so- oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'll come back to that. But we did so much today. We put the bridge on. We fixed the wiring. Our little train is still kind of half on, but not really. <laughs> okay, let me- let's do a wrap up. <laughs> So, what did we learn today? What was the moral of the stream? Um, I'm trying to recall what we talked about. Wow, the transitions. <laughs> I know, I got fancy. Also, I can wink, which is I interesting. And when I'm not using the webcam like I am now, I can actually get the model to detect my facial expressions, so it'll switch between the expressions automatically. Like right now it's all, all like neutral, but I can get it later to do like smiling, <laughs> angry, <laughs> happy. I think I have a worried one too. Yeah, concerned. We learned leeches aren't to be trusted. We learned the ecosystem of group projects. Trying to describe Milgram is like trying to describe a soap opera. That's so true. I love Kingsley's stream setup. It's so smooth and cute. It wasn't always like this. It's because you you come in at like stream number five when we've like worked out all of the technical difficulties. Stream one, I was muted for so long. Ugh, the music was way too loud or too quiet. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. We're going to pretend that never happened. I was always smooth and cute. <laughs> um thank you so much for coming to the stream today i'm so glad we got so much done i'm hoping we can finish maybe um on the weekend i don't know if i'm gonna stream thursday or friday so and then my nails won't last till next week we all know that and when there's no nails there's no more book no stream that's just the truth <laughs> thank you little sprouts sleep tight let me get the sprouts uh, I keep forgetting to bring the sprout emoji up. Uh, let's get a sprout for everybody. We got Shezo, and Mikoto, and Amane, and Pyro, and July, and a ghost, and Keenan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Keenan is, is separate from the rest of the sprouts. Thank you so much. Sleep tight, little sprouts. 